everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 407. I'm Nate Moore. I just arranged to speak for another state MGMA group. If I haven't spoken to your group lately about business intelligence or using Excel in a medical practice, I'd love to do so. What I want to do today is record just a dumb little macro and show you how you might save that macro either in the ribbon or in this quick access toolbar. I mean, the idea of, unless you've got a really big, nasty one-time project, the idea of building a macro is here's something I'm going to do every day or all the time or whatever. What we want to do is make it easy to use the macro we built. So that said, what I'm going to do is turn on the macro recorder. And this, my macro is going to be called created by Nate. I could put a shortcut key here and let's just put control N to make it a shortcut. I can store in this workbook, which is what I'm going to do. If this is a macro that I'm going to use time and time again on multiple workbooks, not just here, I might build a personal macro workbook. A personal macro workbook is a hidden workbook that opens when you open Excel and stores all your macros. And so what you can do is you can put all your macros in the personal macro workbook that you're going to use over and over and over again on multiple spreadsheets. If you're just going to use the macro in one spreadsheet like we're going to today, I'm going to throw it in this workbook and be done. So now that I'm building my macro, my macro says created by Nate. So whatever cell I'm in, I'm not worried about absolute relative references or any of that. I just want to go to a cell, type my macro, and have it say created by Nate. So I'm going to stop recording. And so I could do control N, and it will do created by Nate. But I can put it a couple of different places. Let me show you what I mean. Let's come over here. I can add it to the quick access toolbar with this drop down. What I'm going to do is go to more commands. And then what I'm going to do is from this choose commands from area, look for macros. Here's some of the things we played with. Here's created by Nate. So I'm going to add that to this quick access toolbar and I can modify it. Maybe I'll choose a different icon and maybe I'll just display the name Nate. I can click OK there, click OK there. Now that I'm here, all I've got to do is click this and click this, and my macro is now part of the quick access toolbar. I can right click the ribbon and customize the ribbon. The other way to get to this same place, by the way, is File, Options, and Customize Ribbon. I'll end up in the same place. But let's just right click someplace out here in the ribbon and customize the ribbon. So what I could do is I could add my macro someplace to at the end of an existing tablet, say, or maybe I've got a ton of macros. And what I want to do is just build a new tab. So I'm going to build a new tab and I'm going to come up to this new tab and I'm going to rename it macros. I'm going to leave it in lowercase so you can see the difference, even though the rest of these tabs are in uppercase because we're just playing. And then my new group is let's rename that and Nate's macros so there we go the custom by the way is telling Excel and you know, Excel telling you maybe it's that way that this is a custom menu it's not going to print the word custom is not going to print when we're done so now that I've got this here in Nate's macros what I'm going to do is come over here macros here's created by Nate We'll add that there and just throw it there and call it good. So now what I have is here's my ribbon. I have a macros tab right here. And let's go someplace new so you can tell. Created by Nate. Created by Nate. Control N. Created by Nate. So the keyboard shortcut, the quick access toolbar, and you can even add a, a, a ribbon and put multiple macros out here. We could put more macros in Nate's macros, or we could have different kinds of macro groups here. This is a printing macro. This is uh, importing macro. Whatever it is, you can build all that stuff and make your macros very easy to get to. I want to show you one more easy to get to way to make your macros accessible, particularly for folks who maybe aren't as familiar with Excel and are nervous about clicking around. We're going to attach a macro to a button, and we'll do it next time. Thanks for watching.